I literally found the best React component libraries built on top of shared CNUI. Everything from simple but super powerful components to beautifully animated ones using Framer Motion, all the way to complete UI sections designed to impress. And I will even show you a tool that lets you fully customize your shared CNUI theme so that your website looks completely unique. And the best part, all of these libraries are completely open source and with that free to use. So with that out of the way, let's check out the five component libraries. Let's go! Alright friends, so the first component library which I want to share with you is called Origin UI. Origin UI is probably the component library which I use the most on a day-to-day -day basis. So for example, recently they released 20 Navpa components built with React and Tailwind CSS and of course Shad C and UI. Now the nice thing is all components are responsive. These Navbars look beautiful and I think you all know that creating nav bus is super annoying. Making them responsive, creating good spacing, making them look nice, it's annoying. And it's handy that Origin UI offers these nav bus. Of course, Origin UI offers a big set of components, so a lot of categories, you could say. Navbar components, avatar components, banner components, I don't know, calendar components, as you see right here. And all of these components are built on top of shared CNUI. For example, this right here is an application which I'm currently building, and I implemented something for the password input. If a user enters a password, it shows this nice pop-up, and right here it says weak password. I want to have a stronger password. And as you see, if I also add more characters, it also updates. And this component was actually copied from Origin UI. If I right here search for the input category, then I will find this one right here. Input with password strength indicator. And if we look at the code quickly, then you will see that the code quality in general is very good. And the nice thing is, something which I don't see with many component libraries, is that they actually implemented area properties, area labels. This is super important for accessibility. Most component libraries and in general, most people don't implement them, so it's so cool to see that they actually offer them right here out of the box. And again, this is a free component library. Origin UI also has layouts. These are like templates which they created and probably my favorite template right here is this crypto wallet template. It just looks nice. This is like a dashboard. They also have easing classes. These are like these animations which you can just copy paste into your project, but I don't really use them. Now here's the thing which I appreciate the most about this component library, and that's that all of the components have one design language. If you look at the buttons, they have the same design language as for example, this file upload component section. So all components have the same design language and that's something that you don't see with a lot of component libraries, especially free ones. Now, if I would have to rank this library on a scale from one to 10, with 10 being the best library ever created, then I would give this library a solid eight. It's very clean, it's very consistent, and it has very good code. The second library, which I want to share with you guys, is called MVP Blocks. Now, MVP Blocks is the complete opposite of Origin UI, because these are not minimal minimalistic components. No, these are like actual animated sections which are fancy. So if I hover over this bento grid, you will see they have a lot of smooth animations and that's because this is built with frame or motion and just in general, it looks kind of nice, right? We can also head over to the documentation and explore the components further. So right here, for example, they have headers. This is again like your standard nav bar. And right here, they for example, have the about section we can also open it in this full screen window. And as you see right here, we have very smooth animations. If I hover over these cards, we have again animations. If I hover over these cards, again, very nice animations. We can also, for example, look at the pricing section. Again, this is fully animated with Framer Motion. And also, if you hover over these cards, you get animations. If I click on yearly, the number updates also with an animation Framer Motion. 
motion gives you very smooth animations, something which you can't really accomplish with standard CSS animations. I'm also a very big fan of this waitlist section component because it looks kinda, I don't know, very professional. Like, I, I would never believe if you would have shown me this component library, this page, I would have never thought that this is a free component, which you can just use, copy, paste, whatever, because you have beautiful animations. And also, if we look at the code quickly, then you will see that this also has clean code. And of course, again, since this component library builds on top of shared C and UI, it's easy to customize the components. And also, they offer the shared C and C so you can install the sections, the components using the CLI, which also saves a lot of time. Now, if I would have to rank this library from one to 10, then I would give this whole library a solid nine because I have never seen such attention to detail in a free library. Again, it's free to use. <gasps> oh my God, damn. The next component library, which I want to share with you guys is called SHSF UI. Yeah, it's kind of a stupid name, I know. Nevertheless, the animations are very smooth. So if I hover over this button, for example, do you see the smoothness? Oh my God, wow. If we scroll a bit to the bottom, then you will see all of the primitives which they offer. They don't call them components, they rather call them primitives. And I would agree, I would also call them primitives. So right here, they for example, have a few buttons. And now here, look at this. If I click on this like button, you see the smooth animation and you see how this heart fills up. Wow. And if we click on star, it also has the smooth animation. And that's because again, this component library uses Framer motion. Now, the only problem which I have with this component library is that they don't have that many components or in other words, primitives. They only have a few right here, as you see. Nevertheless, all of them are nicely designed and a lot of attention to detail has been given to them. Now, right here, I want to also show you this primitive. So if I again scroll to the bottom, this primitive is very fancy. This is like a theme toggle. And if I click on it, Boah, did you see that? Again, if I click on it, wow. I have never seen something like that, to be honest with you. This library is unique. They don't have a lot of components, but they have high quality components. If I would have to rank again this library on my scale, then I would give this a solid eight. The next component library, which I want to share with you guys is called Kibo or Kibo UI. Now this is pretty much a more advanced version of Origin UI because you still have minimalistic components, but these components are advanced. So for example, right here they have an AI section and right here we can just check out this AI conversation component. As you see, it's designed nicely and also all components also have a nice consistency. So they are consistent, which is super important. They don't have any animations, but this is also not always needed in my opinion. I'm a big fan of the calendar component because it's high quality and also these smaller components are also interesting. Like for example, this credit card component. If I hover over this credit card, it flips pretty much right and it's again smooth and that's what you want. Also, for example, this, if I scroll to the bottom here, they have this video player and it's a custom video player and creating video players is actually not that easy as you would probably think. So it's nice that they offer such components. And one thing which I also found interesting is that they also offer standard blocks, right? Like sections. Here they have a pricing section and it looks very similar to MVP blocks. We don't really have these big animations, but it looks clean and again, consistent. And if I would have to rank this whole library, then I would give it a solid nine actually, because this is the sweet spot for me. I don't need animations. I'm fine with small micro animations. And the last library, which I want to share with you guys is called Skipper UI. Now, if you know the movie Madagascar, then you probably know who Skipper is. If not, then not. But as you see again, this library is there to create modern websites. And they took again a big 
focus on smooth animations. So if we go to the components to explore them further, then you will see, for example, this card carousel. This is like the latest component, which they added right here. If we go to the stacked dialogue, and if I click on click to open, we have a smooth animation right here. They also have this image cursor trail component. You know what? I honestly don't like it if I have this on a real website, but right here for to just to test things out it's kind of cool let's be honest with each other one component which i liked quite a bit was this slide button so you have to slide this button to confirm pretty much the click right and this works pretty well for example for finance applications or any application where you have to confirm something like for example when you want to delete an account so i see a lot of use cases for such a button and again it's animated nicely with framer motion because if we go to the code you will see right here framer motion again in combination with shared C and ui and also right here they have this minimal card component and as you see right here it does not have any animations, but it's unique. I have never seen such a card on a website. And if I would have to rate this on my beautiful scale, then I would give this a solid nine. It's almost perfect. And now there's one more library or one more tool, which I want to share with you guys. And that's tweak CN. So as you all know, all of the component libraries, which I just shared with you guys are all built on top of shared CN UI. And the nice thing is you can customize shared CN UI very easily. And Tweak CN helps you to design your perfect Shad CN UI theme. So if I click on try it now, then you will see right here that they have a few predefined themes. And I'm, for example, a big fan of the Claude theme. And that's also what I used in my last long form video. And if you now copy the code and paste it into your globals.css file, then all of your, your whole theme will update. And with that, also all of the components which you copied from one of these libraries. And yeah, everyone, we are now finished with this video. These were five component libraries, which I use, which are high quality. If you have any other component libraries, which I should know of, or which other viewers should know of, then please let me know in the comments or let the other viewers know in the comments. It's always great to find more component libraries to use. And now, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and my heart. So please do it. And now enjoy your day and see you in the next one. Bye.